Good morning, YouTube. Matt with ASL Dumpsters from Aurora, Colorado. But I am not in Aurora, Colorado right now. I am leaving my hotel here in Alexandria, Minnesota. What the hell am I doing in Alexandria, Minnesota? So, today is the day my business grows, basically. Um, I drove all the way out. I drove almost eh, a little over 13 hours yesterday. Got here last night. And this morning, I am on my way to Protainer, Inc. to pick up my new, brand new um, dumpster trailer and three roll-offs. Uh, I'll show you the sizes when I get there, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go in, sign the paperwork, drop the check to them, and hit, get back on the road, uh, back home, and get these things to work. So, if you are in the business, junk removal, dumpster rental, definitely stay tuned. Um, I did get approval to do some filming outside. I can't do any in their shop, but uh, we'll do a walk around of my equipment for sure. Kind of maybe show you their yard, see what they allow me to do. Stay tuned. This is an exciting day for ASL. If you're in the business, you know what's up. Um, yeah, roll the intro. We are here. So I gotta go in and do all the paperwork and stuff, but we made it. Let's get parked and head in there. All right, guys, I am all hitched up here in Alexandria, Minnesota. Just left Protainer. Just parked down the street to double check my straps and everything. But here is the new setup. Now, the first question you might have is you only have two roll offs. Well, I bought a third one that was a different color and I asked, I paid for the paint match to match the gray. This is Battleship Gray and they didn't do it sold it off or whatever and there was an extra 20 yarder there but it was blue and i said i told the guy i said look i, I paid for the payment i wanted all the match so he's got to paint it and then ship it out to me so but to be honest with you a road trip as long as i've got ahead of me i'm not all that upset about not having to pull three of them back um but i do need it i need to get it asap but well, under that is the 13 horse Kohler motor it runs a hydraulic system that has a battery powered remote for everything including the tongue jack underneath and then the tarp jack that lifts up for when you have the 20 yarder on and um dude, this thing is stout guys um, again this is made by protainer and it is a double hydraulic lifting system standard rail size so these will fit on a roll-off truck eventually it comes with g-rated tires so super super for, uh, strong 14 ply tires the trailer itself is stout as can be the boxes themselves look really really nice this is going to be a great surface here to put our logo our slogan qr code i want to get a qr code towards the front so when people drive by they can snap a picture on uh, the back uh, it has a tarp strap all the way around so on the back there and then towards the bottom you can see it better on the 10 yarder um, but uh, yeah, the swing gates, so it's uh, double hinge, and then the gates here, it's all industrial style. Pins, locking mechanisms, chain, um, the rollers are all greasable. So it is, everything's got grease certs. And uh, yeah. I'm freaking pumped. I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get some signage eventually on here on the trailer, and obviously on the roll-offs themselves. Um, it is a reeving style trailer um, pulling system. So this cable, there's a hydraulic ram there, and then this cable goes back and forth with pulleys and has a super super strong lifting capacity and um, basically between its standalone motor and its own hydraulic system you'll never run out of power 
So this is the new setup, minus one roll off. And if you're wondering where the door is for the 10 yarder, it's, well, I can't climb up there and hold the camera, but it's up in there. It's in the 20 yarder. So I gotta have a neighbor or something help me swing that on when we get home. But uh, yeah, this is it guys. This is the new setup for now. And if you look at, it's, this is pretty tail heavy because of the how far back the 20 yarder's sitting. I wish we could have pushed that forward, but then you'd be running into this arm. But anyway, um, notes on the truck. I mean, I'm not sagging at all. Again, I've got the Timberins, um, so that's helping. Um, this sleeve inside here is adjustable. You just back off the sets, the set nuts or the jam nuts, back out the screws, or back out the bolts, and then uh, get it set with the hydraulic jack while it's attached to the truck and reset it. Um, so that is that. Uh, but yeah, this is ASL's new thing. I'm gonna get on the road here, guys. Catch you here in a bit. All right, guys, it has been roughly I've been driving for about nine hours now, and the way this thing is loaded with the 20 yarder as far back inside the 10 yarder as it is, it's a little bouncy. So it's like there's tongue weight, a little bit of tongue weight on the gooseball, but it's not enough. And with the G-rated tires on that trailer, which is awesome that they're G-rated, um, but anytime that thing bounces and flips up it literally I can hear it like I can hear it pulling on the on the uh, goose ball so the way I was coming out of Minnesota through South Dakota and now I'm in Nebraska I've been in Nebraska for a little bit now it, it took me through some back roads and some shortcuts which was fine but you know a lot of those roads aren't maintained like these major highways like I'm on I-80 right now and holy cow that thing beat me up and part of it's my fault too because uh, of the Timberins that I have in the back. Um, my suspension helpers from Timberin. So because there's not a whole lot of tongue weight on it, those Timberins aren't making full contact and compressing. They're just kind of slapping the axle. So it's just like the, the ride in here, the seat of the pants ride is my back's gonna need some adjustment. Let's just say that by the time we get home. I've got about three and a half, four hours left to get home, so not too bad. A straight shot, I-80 connects to I-76, basically takes me all the way home. But I am super excited for this setup. This trailer itself with the Kohler motor and the hydraulic setup, super easy to operate, super reliable, everything is heavy duty including like even the fenders are like 13 gauge uh they're gusseted you can walk all over the thing the um the rail system the hydraulic lifts it's so there's two three inch lifts uh two three inch cylinders for the lift instead of like a scissor lift the, um, you know like on my dump trailers um everything about this is built for purpose built um, and that's why I went to a company like Protainer. Um, you know, Nedland Industries does the same thing. Um, they build very similar trailers. They use Honda motors. They make, you know, and I'm sure they have differences in, the, in their engineering, but um, I'm super excited about the gooseneck setup and, you know, the maneuverability with that. There's plenty of clearance with it. It's super stout. The, um, you know, all the, it, they've got, plenty of lights on it and the other thing I'm excited about too is the advertising that I'll be able to do on the boxes themselves so their their panels sorry if it's bumpy this part of the highway is a little rough but the panels that they build these with the sheets that they cut are pretty flat all the way across um, there's only like one weld line right in the middle on the sides and then the front's almost totally flat so I'll be able to do you know, a slap our logo on there really nice. Um, I want to get a QR code sticker, you know, like a two foot by two foot QR code sticker for our website. People can drive by and scan it with their phone. Um, 
and then you know and some other things i want to get some some signage on the trailer itself as well so i'm super excited about it guys if you're in the business you know uh, when you expand into roll-offs it's very um it's exciting time i also picked a very expensive time to do it um you got to know that going into this guys nothing's cheap anymore you cannot invest your money in a roll-off package or dump trailers for that matter and you know just expect that business is going to come to you and you can make your money back like that and have a growing business that's just not how it works um there's really not a lot of business out there like that so you know you have to put in the time i've got um over a little over a year in this business now and we are in the heavy hot and heavy season so we're coming into summer it's june right now and my phone's ringing off the hook which is great i can't i mean the the dumpsters I'm bringing back now are already rented out, which is fantastic. Um, but you know, starting off, guys, you gotta you gotta put in the work. You gotta get the referrals. You gotta work your own personal small network. Um, build up your Google reviews. You blast it on social media as much as you can. Um, and then and one of the other things that um, some people don't talk about enough, I feel like, but are you know, community groups like Facebook community groups for different neighborhoods, um, mom groups, um, you know, different, you know, if you got kids in sports, there, there's a small community right there um, with a bunch of parents that work and have homes and businesses and blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's, you got to find every angle you can uh, if you're going to do this and offer it to the public and, um, you know, and then small contractors um, getting work for them. I've got I've got a couple on the line. You know, one's kind of busy. The other one is is fairly busy. I'll be taking over their work this summer, which is exciting. But um, you know, if you're gonna take the time and the money to invest in something like this, don't just think that that business is gonna start coming in and your phone's gonna start ringing. And um, you know, especially you go into winter, December through February. December through February suck. They suck for the dumpster rental business, period. Um, one one angle I'm trying to work to combat that um, is getting online with some restoration companies. So, you know, that's one way because of, you know, freezing and thawing in Colorado. We get a lot of busted pipes, a lot of flooding. Um, you know, there's still a lot of older homes around in and around Denver and Aurora that are getting renovated that have a lot of... Uh, materials that need to be pulled out so you know that's it's a couple different angles other than the general public rentals that you get um, that can maybe pull you through a winter but you, you better count you better save for it and understand that those slow months are coming and when they come you can't freak out about it and act like you didn't know because they will come but anyway the roll-off package is sweet the uh, oh one thing I didn't talk about the tarp system so the tarp itself is manual. I do, I do have to throw the rope and pull the rope and and manually tarp it. But the the uh, arms that it's attached to to the trailer are hydraulic. So when I have say if I have a ten yarder, I can have the tarp here. When I have a twenty yarder, I can raise it up with the hydraulic system, and then that tarp can go over the top way easier. And then you pull it down as you know once it's tied off, you pull it down and cinch it. Um, it's a pretty cool system. I wasn't really interested in the automatic, you know, using the arms where it's fully automatic. I mean, it's sweet, it's nice. Um, but I, <laughs> I see half the, the roll-off trucks at the landfill and ha at least half of them, the arms are uneven, they're broken, the springs are busted, the tarp is jacked up. Um, I think, to be honest with you, I think a lot of that's operator error because those guys don't own that equipment. They're just drivers and they don't, be honest, they don't give a shit. Um, you know, if they if they jack up their boss's equipment, oh well, boss, I don't know what happened. You know, and then it's money out of your pocket to fix it. So at least this way, I know I'm the one operating it. I can uh, and I can be a little more delicate with it this way. But anyway, the um, I'm excited to get these back, get these rented out. I will have some uh, once I operate it a few times. I'll I'll kind of I'll do a video on that, kind of a quick operator review of it um 
Protainer has their own video as well, but I'll be honest with you, it's old. It's kind of hard to find on YouTube. I'll, I'll throw that up. And um, yeah, road trip's almost done. So this is uh, another small step for my business. And you know, if you guys are out there in the business, best of luck to you. I hope you guys are doing well and growing too. And we'll see you on the next video.